Today we're going into a step-by-step -step Facebook ads testing strategy to help you go from zero to $10,000 a day. Hey there and welcome to the channel. My name is Ricky Hayes and it's a pleasure to bring you this step-by-step -step strategy on how to go from zero a day to $10,000 a day with Facebook ads testing strategy step-by-step. -step. Let's jump into step number one. So first thing I always recommend campaign-based optimization. There's a lot of discussion in the community about uh, single budget ad sets, CBO. CBO does outperform long-term. Keep that in mind long-term. So start as a CBO. The campaign is to be set at $50 per day and contains ads, 10 ad sets within the CBO scheduled for midnight in your ad account time zone. Okay, so uh, what I mean by that is like it always schedule it for midnight um, because it'll always be based on the ad account time zone anywhere around the world. Okay, so it doesn't matter with 10 ad sets, okay, with 10 different audiences. And I'll get more into that in a moment. Let me just show you my Facebook ads manager to, to give you a bit more context into this. Okay, cool. So you can see I'm in my Facebook ads manager here and I pretty much run everything in CBO. I am testing single budget. You can actually see there's not much difference. Um, it was just purely for testing to try and test different angles. Okay, so what I did is like those, as you can see, CBO, started at CBO, 10 ad sets in it, and I've got a couple running it at $200 a day. Um, and I put 10 ad sets in them and I kill off the underperforming ones. You can see this week done 1400, you know, for 3600, which it's actually about like, uh, I think like 5K it has an attributed sale, stuff like that. So, you can sort of see here um, that I apply this just a CBO with 10 ad sets um, in it and you start with optimization. Okay, so that's where you, you want to start. Okay, a lot of people get very stuck there. Start with a CBO. Okay, let's move into the next step. Now we're in the testing step um, for two, which is uh, targeting. So there's a big discussion around this as well, and I want to clarify, do you either target all e-packet countries or do you target the big five? Um, I've always taken the approach that the big five have the biggest spending pockets, um, especially as someone that does a lot of more high ticket. For me, I need people that have extra capital, okay? So my personal recommendation is to start with the big five um, and you know you can venture into the European and South American markets and oceanic markets down the line but start with the countries that generally the buyer the most online statistically start with them you want to go 25 plus um, I always say 25 plus if you're selling women's bikinis okay um, you know that might be 18 to 24 because they're very much gonna buy these bikinis that are 10 20 dollars or something because I want to go to the beach and look all pretty and stuff Okay, but otherwise, generally 25 plus um, men and women, and I say that openly, um, depending on your item, okay, determines the gender. There's remember to always determine, try and determine the gender. There's a, mo a lot of items that you can easily determine the gender. You can just tell at face value. So I add that there um, just for your context. English all, because we've got an English land website. We, we want people to be able to read our content, otherwise they're not going to be interested. Um, broad interests, two, 2 mil plus up to 30 mil is what I do now. Um, it really doesn't matter now. Uh, Facebook is very, very simple. So you just do broad single target interests. So um, cat magazines, dog, dog magazines, dog lovers, you know, just very broad interest. Uh, it just needs just needs an outline, okay, and that's all you do, and that's all I ever do, truthfully, um, and it works well, okay. Um, automatic placements minus desktop. I always say minus desktop because desktop is uh, just very expensive clicks, um, especially for most people drop shipping. If you're doing low ticket, trust me, if you had a look in your campaigns, you'll 95% of the time see that desktop has a very expensive cost per click. Unless you have a really good conversion rate with desktop, I would just remove it, um, at least for cold traffic. And you want to do one day click optimized for conversions. Okay, so you just do one day click optimized for conversions. Um, and that's all you really need to do. So I'm going to show you sort of how you can do that, um, how you can put this all in place now very, very easily. 
Okay, cool. So we just go into our campaign and I've only made one ad set, but I'll show you how you can work around this pretty easily. So you always set your ad account base, uh, your start date as the following day. Okay, so it's always based on your ad account time zone. Choose your countries. So Australia. Apparently I can't spell Australia. Canada. United States. United Kingdom. And New Zealand. Okay. New Zealand, beautiful. I always, as an additional note, just put people who live in this location. I'm not going to get into that, but I just do it, it makes more sense. Generally, I go 25 plus. Um, you put in English all, depending on your gender, if you can tell, choose your gender. And this is where most people get stuck with the interests. So the interests are actually really easy. If I was marketing a, a dog product, um, uh, I would put in pet. Uh, let's see what we can find here. Pet food. Uh, I try pet smart. Okay. Uh, I try and find large audiences pet co um, that I can use. So let's let's just put in pet food. Okay. If people are into pet food, they likely have a pet. So let's just see what audience it tells us that we have. So 27 mil. Okay. So it fits within that. And that's all I would do truthfully. Like you don't need to do much more. Um, it does make sense to narrow it down, but Facebook's very intelligent. So just let it do its thing. Uh, you just go edit placement and um, take off take off that as well. So I should note as well while here, see how why I take desktop off is see all these placements. We got all these new placements Facebook are bringing out. They're going to bring out more and more and more and more, um, which is <clears throat> really, really good. Like you can see here, they just brought out search. That's recent. Um, if we have a look at desktop, okay, to so people understand, look at the amount of placements for desktop compared to mobile. They've released one new placement. Otherwise, the placements of um, two placements in the last like one to two years being marketplace and in stream. That's that's it. They've done nothing uh, because desktop is very limited. And it's not so as a result competition's far more fierce okay so please keep that in mind um really really important so that's why i take off desktop um and then you just scroll down generally you go for me it doesn't show it in this ad account sorry but you want to go conversions and just choose one day click i do apologize for that um just go one day click and that's all you need to do at the ad set level and what you do once you've made it is you scroll up, you can click this little cog button and you can go here, ad set interests, you go rename, and then it's gonna rename that ad set based on the name of the interest. And then you can go duplicate. This is how I do it, how I prefer to do it. I just type in the number nine, so I have a total of 10. And then I go through those other nine and I'll choose different interests. And that's how you start with your ad sets with the targeting for Facebook with your testing strategy. Testing step number three is the ad creative. So obviously this is very important. In fact, I have videos on this. I recommend you go and check them out. They're in my YouTube channel or if you're in my course, then go and check them out there as well. So you wanna create four creatives. I used to create two, now I sort of create four. Competition's fierce, so the more creatives, the better. Create four creatives within your ad sets. So what I do is two unique ads. Um, two unique ads and but both with the same thumbnail so just use canva.com for thumbnails and use camtasia this is that's what i use um which are about 30 seconds 30 to 60 seconds in length with an uh, 1080 by 1080 resolution because that's for the news feeds um if you find stories and that do well do 1080 by 1920 okay uh, you should definitely test that make the first five seconds of the video a pattern interrupt and i'll show you a video of that uh right now Okay, so all we need to do here is you make four ads. So for default, you're going to have one. You make your first and then just duplicate it three times and make the changes to the three ads. If you want to know how to make high converting um, ads, just let me know in the comments down below. We won't get into that today because that's another topic of discussion. Uh, but that's primarily what you do. If we go into Facebook, this is an example of an ad that has this pattern interrupt. Okay, I have my volume muted, so don't be worried. 
So see how that first few seconds, see that first two, three seconds, up to five seconds, something that, you know, it's just wow, okay? Something that just instantly catches people's attention and then you go into the product. Okay, that's a pattern interrupt. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have, a pattern interrupt doesn't need to be something completely just out of the blue random. Something, something that's related, um, something that's related and that will do the job quite well for you. So that's what I recommend that you do there. Um, and that, that's your pattern interrupt. You can find pattern interrupts. Um, I believe I have it in here. Sorry, my apologies. I don't. Um, you can find pattern interrupts on YouTube. You can find them on Vimeo. Also contact AliExpress suppliers as well as go on AliExpress. They have many videos there. And also check Alibaba. Okay, many, many videos are also on Alibaba to find those. My recommendation uh, for those is to try and at least get three videos that you can put together. Once you get those three videos, that is your perfect starting point to make a new creative. If you want to know how to script and make these, let me know down in the comments below, but we won't be getting into that today. Step four is optimization. Okay, so part of the testing strategy is optimization. In order to scale, you need to be able to optimize effectively. So you want to leave your campaign running for a 48 hours minimum, preferably. Preferably 72 hours. CBO does take a longer period of time to optimize. Okay, that's really important. Um, and we need to understand that. Within that 24 hours, you want to kill underperforming ads. Firstly, you always kill underperforming ads. We have a total of 10 times 4 which is 40 ads because we have four ads per ad set. So we want to kill off the bad ads, okay, and leave the best performing ones. If you want to know more about that, I'll, I'll be showing you in a moment, but you do things like CTR and CPC. I'll show you that briefly. Kill underperforming ad sets within 48 hours, okay? Kill underperforming ad sets within 48 hours. So you kill the underperforming ads, and then if the ad set's still doing bad after the next 24 hours, you make that decision to kill it. You find areas to remove being country, gender, then age. Okay, countries is the biggest, followed by gender, followed by age. So if you're finding that United States is not doing well, well, you might consider cutting it out because you might find the United Kingdom might be where you're getting profitable sales. Um, you leave for 72 hours in total. Okay, so leave it for 72 hours in total while making these adjustments. Uh, if profitable, scale the budget, and if not profitable, give it another 48 hours to optimize. So if you're not profitable, but you're getting sales, you're onto something. You need, need to give it more time to optimize. If it's profitable straight off the bat after that three days, then scale the budget. I generally scale by either 20% depending on margins or 100% daily, I double the budget. Okay. So let me just show you a little bit about the optimization in my ads manager account right now. Okay, so I'm in my ad account here and you can see the dates are November the 1st to November the 5th. I just chose that to give a bit more context. Um, and if we have a look here, we can see countries. I was testing a bit more worldwide for testing, but you can see Australia um, has done quite well. We can see a number of countries have done somewhat well as well. Um, but don't have enough data yet and that's why you need to spend more money. You can see here. This is United States um, And definitely need to uh, improve on that. You can see the ROAS is not that great So Always try and optimize by country if we have a look here We can as I said we can see Australia has done very well So logically I could just cut out every other country and be like Australia is doing well um, or I could cut out you know, just United States and United Kingdom, which I may consider doing um, because they're not doing that well over the last few days. Um, and I'll cut them out, duplicate my ad sets um, and re-begin testing. Because you can see here in Australia, the click's high, but we can see good that, okay? So you can sort of get an idea, that's just one step. Then we look at gender, then we look at age. Those are the three main areas I look at, and then followed by that will be placement if you got to that stage. But initially, you wanna look at those other three areas to optimize on. So that's how you start um, as you start to scale your actual campaigns. Now lastly, we got step five, and this is scaling. So obviously a part of the testing strategy is scaling, it's an inevitability. 
If you want me to make a video on that as well, comment that down below if you prefer scaling or how to make high converting videos. Um, so I won't get too much into that today because there's different scaling strategies for different points in the journey. Really important that you understand that. So if you want to know more about that, comment that down below. I want to get at least 20 comments before I consider doing that. So either comment the word video for video or comment the word scale for a scaling video. Okay, so I hope that has helped clarify that because then I can make a video around that for you to help you as you start to scale your actual Facebook ad campaign. And that concludes today's video on Facebook ads testing strategy, zero to $10,000 a day. I hope you did enjoy that. If you did, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, comment down below, crush it to go on the chance to win a call with me announcing the next video for 30 minutes, one on one. And let me know down below if you want a video on Facebook making high converting Facebook ads, or if you want a video on Facebook scaling strategy. Okay. So congratulations to today's winner of the call being Robin Birchkler. I hope I pronounced that right, Robin. Um, so just hit me up via email and uh, we will figure that out together and have a call together. Um, if you haven't done so already, be sure to join me live in my free weekly webinar. It's just 100% free. I enjoy doing it. Um, you just need to put in your name and email and you can join. Uh, reserved for the first 200 people only just for the fact that uh, the room can only handle that many. If you do want your highest, the highest converting um, Shopify theme, and it's going under a huge amount of development I'm already seeing, then you can check it out there as well. It's 100% free, uh, really trying to give value back um, as well. And if you want to become an affiliate, you can also become an affiliate via that link. Um, on top of that as well, don't forget you got my free courses. You know, you got Facebook ads, Google ads, product research, Shopify store. Between those four, really, you don't have much to worry about. Um, like those are worth well over a thousand two thousand dollars just between that so be sure to check them out they're free um, and you can get them you got free cheat sheet and then if you want my premium course that's there as well and then you got my other links if you are new to Shopify you got my Shopify link you got sales source and drop point for product research okay guys so I have been trying to improve my videos uh, further trying to make them more engaging and interesting um, so let me know if I am on the right path. Let me know if this is the content that you guys are after as well. I really do appreciate that. I take it very, very serious. If many of, if any of you are into my Facebook groups, you see I do a lot of polls and I ask a series of questions to determine the course of action that, that we take. And for the, many of my followers, you know that I do take it very serious, the feedback you give, because then I make videos around it. Many people are asking how I do high ticket. That is something that I'm willing to discuss as well. It's all around how you market the product and the quality of the product, and I'm happy to teach that. So any any ideas, suggestions you have, comment that down below. Um, let's all have a beautiful Christmas together. It is one of the most wonderful times of the year. I won't be as available because I am scaling business and I am trying to spend more time with my partner and, uh, and enjoy my free time a bit more. So I do apologize if I am a little bit more uh, lax with my responses, but I do endeavor to get to everyone. So I very much appreciate everyone that contacts me both through Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever that may be. If you haven't done so already, follow me on Instagram at Ricky Hayes IG, uh, where I will help you. I upload a lot of stories and a lot of value there as well. Just follow me there. It's completely free. Um, you're going to absolutely love it. Okay, guys. So I hope you really did enjoy this video. Make sure you get the slides down below. They're 100% free, 100% yours. Get as much value from this as possible, guys. Really capitalize on this perfect time of the year. And I hope, hope you all have a lovely day. I hope you take care and goodbye.